My friend is craving for Ritz crackers. So I will bring her one, but mm, I want to make it special. I will give this to her as a gift and I will buy a wrapper. I will wrap this box of Ritz crackers to make it special for her. But the question is, how much wrapper will I need to cover the whole box? Mm, let's find out. Mm, I knew it! For me to find out how much wrapper I need to cover the whole box, I need to solve for the surface area. Hey. Oh, we will learn how to solve the surface area of this box. So surface area of prisms. And this box is an example of rectangular prisms. For me to know how much wrapper I need to cover this whole box, I will decompose this box. This is how the box look like after decomposing it. This is what we call the lateral face. And we have one, two, three, four. So there are four lateral faces. And this one is what we call the base. And there are two bases. This face and this face have the same dimensions. So if it is eight inches, this is also eight inches. And this side right here is seven and five tenths inches. So we will multiply this, this side and this side. So that is eight inches times 7.5 inches and that will give you 60 inches now since there are two uh, the same dimensions we multiply this by 2 so 60 times 2 is 120 inches squared so this one right here is 60 inches the other one is also 60 inches, which will give you 120 inches square. We will also solve for the lateral face number 2 and number 4. And take note, they have the same dimensions. So the measure of this side is 7 and 5 tenths inches times this side, which is 2 inches. So 7 and 5 tenths inches times 2 is 15 inches. And since there are 2, this multiply this by 2 since uh, we are solving for lateral phase 2 and lateral phase 4. So this is 30 inches. So squared. this is for phase 1 and phase 3. This one is for phase 2 and phase four so we are done with the lateral faces then we will proceed with the bases and take note there are also two bases so here the measure of this side is two inches so write it down and this side right here is eight inches so multiply this it will give you 16 inches since there are two bases multiply this by 2 which will give you 32 inches square and this is for base 1 and base 2 take note there are six of them so we have two four six and the next thing that we will do is add all the lateral faces together and the bases. So we have here 120 inches squared for phase one and phase three. We have 30 inches squared 
for phrase two and phrase four, and we have 32 inches squared for base one and base two, and then add them together. So you have two, six, eight. So all in all, the surface area, the surface area of this entire figure is 182 inches squared. Therefore, I need 182 inches squared of a wrapper to wrap the whole box. And for me to solve the surface area of this box, I use my ruler to find the dimension of this box. So I will use inches and find the length of this box, which is eight inches. The width is two inches and the height is seven and a half inches. So I will use these dimensions to solve for the surface area of this box. And to solve for the surface area of the box, I will use the formula. Is A stands for the surface area. So surface area of the rectangular prism is equal to two times length times width plus two times length times height plus two times the width and the height. Then I will substitute the dimensions of this box to the formula. So we have here the first part is two times length times width. So that is two, the length is eight inches. And the width is two inches. Plus two times length times height. So we have two, the length is eight inches. And the height is seven and five tenths inches. Plus two times width times height. The width is two inches. And the height is seven and five tenths inches. Then I will multiply this and add it together. Two times eight is 16, times two is 32. And then plus two times eight is 16. 16 times seven and five tenths is 120. Plus the last part, two times two is four. Four times 7.5 is 30. So this is 30 inches. Then add all together. So we have 32 plus 120 plus 30 inches is 182 inches squared. So this is the surface area of the box. The surface area of this Ritz box. Now I will know how much wrapper I need to cover the whole box. I have here a triangular prism. So as you see, the bases are triangles. So this is base one and this is base two. And it also has a lateral faces. So this is lateral face one. The other side is lateral face two. And this one is lateral phase three. If I will decompose this triangular prism, this is how it looks like. So we have here three lateral faces and two triangular bases. So the measure of this side here is 10 centimeters, as well as this one because they are equal. This side here is eight centimeters, which is equal to this this side and this side Same. if this is 10 centimeters this is also 10 centimeters if this is 8 centimeters this is also 8 centimeters and for the triangle so you have here the height which is 
8 and 7 tenths and the base is 10 centimeters then solve for the surface area so as i mentioned do we have two bases which are these two triangles and we have three faces which are the rectangles to find the area of that triangle we will use the formula area is equal to base times height divided by two so going back to the figure the base which is this one is 10 centimeters and the height which is this which is eight and seven ten centimeters then divide this by two so 10 centimeters times eight and seven ten centimeters is 87 centimeters and divide this by two the area is 43 and five tenths centimeter square since there are two bases multiply this by two which is 87 centimeter square so this is the area of the triangular bases then solve for the surface area of the lateral faces remember there are three lateral faces so the formula in finding the area of a rectangle is a is equal to length times width so here in the figure the length is 10 centimeters and the width is 8 centimeters multiply 8 times 10 is 80 centimeter squared so that is the area of one rectangle and since there are three multiply this by three which will give you 240 centimeter square which means the whole lateral faces the rectangle part measures 240 centimeters square to find the surface area of the whole figure we will add the area of the basis which is 87 centimeters square plus the area of uh, the faces which is 200 and 40 centimeters square which will give you 327 centimeter square so this 327 centimeter square is the surface area of the whole figure if you learned something from this video please like and subscribe and i'll see you again on our next video